Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And today we study uh, 32 cross 1 marks. Uh, 32 cross 1 using an 8 cross 1 marks. Alright, so uh, this is our today's topic. Now, this is what? You don't need to confuse. This is the truth table for the 32 cross 1 marks that we'll be needing later. So, this takes a little time. Uh, so, I drew it from before, okay? Now you know the basic, you need to divide the required by the uh, available, so which means the 32 are the required inputs and we have 8 as the available inputs which gives us a 4. And now we take this 4 and we divide it by 8 so we get a 0.5. Now again a problem like the previous, so whenever, whenever you don't have uh, a proper whole number, so you need to use the enable signal. Whenever you don't have a whole number, you use the, you use the enable signal, all right? So now, uh, so let me draw uh, the, the diagram uh, for uh, 8 cross 1 multiplexers. So let's say over here, yes, this is fine. Uh, this is the first, this is the second, the third, and the fourth. So we have eight inputs to each and let's say I draw an I naught and then we have a 1, I 2, I 3, I 4, I 5, I 6 and I 7. Then to this multiplexer I have an I 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. Then to this we have a 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. And to the last we have an I24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31. All right now. Now we use the enable signal also. So this let's say is the enable signal. E. E. And E, okay. Now to each of them, we know we have three select lines: one, two, three, S2, S1, and S0. S2, S1, and S0. Similarly, S2, S1, and S0, and finally S2, S1, and S0. Now what about what about the other S4 and S3? So we give that, we give that through this enable, all right? So I believe I let uh, this space a little short, but it will work, okay? S4 and S3, okay? So now, uh, how to give that S4 and S3 and how to give this multiplexer? Uh, now let's see if I need uh, from I0 to I7 any entity, any, uh, this I0 to I7 as an output, so I need to get this particular multiplexer on and these three is off. Now, if I think if I need anything between 8 and 15, so I need to have this one on and the other uh, three off. All right, so for that we need the enable, and for that we also need uh, the OR gate. Because anything OR with zero is again the same thing. Now, if I need anything from my not 27, so this multiplexer will be on, the other three would be off. So they will have a zero at their output. Now this uh, and this will have something at its output which let's say A and that A all with that zeros would give you back the same thing A. So which means I need to have an OR gate, an OR gate over here. This will give me the final output, okay. So uh, this is here, this is here and 3 and the 4th. All right. Now, what about the final, uh, the two, the final two enable, the final two select line signals, S4 and S3. So we check it from here, okay? So let's say I divide this uh, into groups. So let's say the blue color inputs is a group of inputs X1. Let's say the red color is a group, uh, let's say X2. The green color is an input group, let's say X3. And the black we have is, let's say, X4. Okay. Now, I believe you know how to draw this truth table. 
therefore I've drawn it directly. If you don't collect, we revise it for you. In the rightmost, in the least significant bit, you change 0, 1, 0, 1 directly. In the second column, you change a group of 2, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. In the third, you need to change a group of 4s, uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, then 1, 1, 1, 1, then 0, 0, 0, 0, okay? In the fourth, you need to change a group of 8s, so 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. and then 8 times 1, then in the final, you need to change a group of 16, all right? Or I will write it down. You need to change directly, any one after another, then you need to change a group of twos, then a group of fours, then a group of eight, and finally a group of sixteens. After this, if you have, so you need to change a group of thirty-twos. Now for this, for this, let's say, for x1, for x1 if I consider, so this s4 is low, and s3 is low. For x2 if I say, so... S4 is low and S3 is high. For X3, S4 is high and S3 is low. And finally for X4, I have S4 high and S3 high. All right. Now I can draw a table out of it, a table. So let's say I have S4 and S3, and the value of X1, X2, X3, and X4. All right? So for this, have a look. For X1, both of them are low, so I have a 0, 0. For X2, I have S4 low and S1 high. For X3, S4 is high, X3 is low. And for X4, or X4 I have both of them as high. Is that fine? All right. Now, what do we do next? Um, we, let's say, uh, write it in an equation's form. All right. So, x4 is what? So, uh, let's say for x1 first. x1 is what? x1 could be written as s4 complement, s3 complement. Uh, similarly, x2 could be written as, uh, as what? As x, x, x4 complement and s3. And similarly, x3 is s4, s3 complement, and x4 would be s4, s3 directly, all right? So that is how you need to give them over here, okay? So let's say I take, uh, this is the s4 signal, all right? This is the s4, and then let's say over here I have given it to a not gate, to give me an S4 complement signal, all right? And uh, let's say over here I have this S3 signal, and I have also given this to an AND gate, to a NOT gate, to give me an S3 complement, all right? Uh, this is the X3 complement now. And what do I need? I need an AND gate as well. So for the enabled, yes, because all of them are ended. So I need an AND gate over here. I need an AND gate over here. I need an AND gate over here. And I need an AND gate over here. Now have a look. To the first, this is I not to a 70 group. So this belongs to the X1 group in which I have to give S4 complement and S3 complement. So this is your S3 complement from here and your S4 complement is given from here. All right, now to X2, to X2 you need to give S4 complement and S3. So which means you need to have X4 complement like this and S3 like this. Now to X3, you need to give X4, S4. Okay, so this is your S4 signal. And you need to have an S3 complement, which is this green color. And finally, both of them are high, S4 and S3. So which means you need to give this blue. And 
and this red color for S4, Louis for S3, alright? So this is the final circuit diagram for what? It is for the 32 cross 1 multiplexer using the uh, using the what? Using the 8 cross 1 multiplexer, alright? Now let's say, let's say I need to have what? Let's say I need to have I7 at the output, okay? Let's say I need I7 at the output, so I represent it by the blue color. Okay, no, yes, it belongs to the blue, so I, I represent it by a blue, I7, okay? So for I7, I need to have S4 and S3 both as zeros, all right? So if S4 is zero and S3 is zero, so which means I have a zero over here and a zero over here, which means one over here and one over here also. All right, so which means only this is on and the others are off. So over here I have the enable signal as one and the other I have a zero. So which means if these are enable signals are off, so these multiplexers are off and I have zero everywhere. Now for this case, for I not I need to give the rest of them as one. So if the rest of the select lines are one, so which means I have a one, 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 one. 0, 0, and then a triple 1. So now in this case, I0 is going to be, I7 is going to be selected. Sorry. I7 is selected, and now I7 has been all with zeros to give me a final I7. All right. Let's say one from the from this. So, so, so let's say I9. I need I9 now from the red color. So I need to have S4 and S3 is 0 and 1. So if S4 is 0 and S3 is 1, so over here I have a 1 and at the complement I have a 0, okay? So which means uh, that now uh, uh, this multiplexer, yes, because the blue is 1 and the black is also 1. So now this multiplexer has a 1 state and the rest of them has enabled state 0. So it means this multiplexer is on, the second one, so for the first, third, and the fourth we have zeros. Now to get an I9, you need to have, this is the second input, which means you need to have a 0, 0, 1. Yes, this is it, 0, 0, 1 at the select line, so you give it a 0, 0, 1, so you have an I9 from here. I9, alright? And finally, when these are ordered with the zeros, so you have a final I9 at the output. So I do the two examples from the green and the black also so that they don't mind, okay? Let's say I need I16. I16. So I, for I16, S4 is 1. S4 is 1. The red color would be 1 and S4 complement would be 0 now, okay? The black would be 0. And what is S3? I, S3 is 0. So which means the blue color will be 0 and the green color would be a 1. So now you check for this red and green. So red and green is over here, which means that this enable signal is a one, and the rest of them are zeros. All right, so which means you have a zero to the third, you have a zero to the first, and a zero to the second. Now the third remains, all right? Okay, uh, this was zero over here with the blue color, okay? Now over here you have a one the enable signal, but for that now uh, the S2, S1, and S0 signal, you need to give them a zero, 0, 0, so you get an I16 because this is the very first entry. So now you have an I16 over here. An I16 or with other zeros will finally give you an I16. Now, what do you say? Should I do another one with the black? So I do it, okay? Let's say I need I31, which is the last entry. So for I31, S4 and S3 are 1. So the red color is 1, the blue color is 1, and the Black is zero and the green is zero. So which means I need to find the red and, and blue combination. So red and blue are given over here. So which means that this signal, one ended with one, is a one. So this enable signal is a one now. Which means the rest of all are zero enabled and the multiplexers are off. So we have a zero, zero. And the final one, the last one remains. Now you need to have the last entity for which you need to give one, one, one at the end. Yes, S2 is 1 and S0 are 1, and S4 and S3 are also 1. Now, now over here we have an I31 going, and then I31 or with zeros will give you an I31, okay? So that's all about it. 
the property that we used was what? An A or with 0 is A. Alright? And over here we have in the AND operations we have an A and it with 0 is a 0. So these are the two properties used, okay? And that's all about the 32 cross 1 multiplexer using the 8 cross 1 multiplexer, alright? And that's all about for this, for this lecture as well. So see you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.